Hi guys, um, today is Wednesday. Uh, it's been a minute, uh, but my husband's been home. We got a bunch of snow so he couldn't leave for work. He finally was able to leave this morning. Um, and usually when he's here, I don't film because we get so little time together ourselves. Uh, so when the kids are down for naps, we usually just sit and talk and cuddle or just basically spend time in each other's company. So, but I am getting to this today. Um, we did get paid yesterday. Um, I don't get to stuff very much money just because, uh, the, there wasn't much money to stuff. Uh, so here's kind of what I have. These are our two envelopes this week. We have a 65 and a 79. And then I'm going to be cash stuffing three of the binders, um, which, you know, again, it's not a lot, but every little bit helps. And this is my sinking funds breakdown. Basically, it tells me where I'm actually putting the money. Um, so that helps. So the first thing I'm gonna do is we're gonna count out money. So we've got 20, 40, 60, 81, 20, 40, 60, 82, 20, 40, 60, 70, 80, 93, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 55, 60, 65, 70, 75, 80, 85, 90, 95, 400, 405, 410, 415, 420, 425, 430. So it looks like we have $430 to stuff. Um, so let's get to it. Let me se separate this out a little bit. I actually don't need my calculator today because I know what I'm doing. Just want to make sure most of that there is in frame. It is perfect. Okay, tens, no ones, just twenties, tens, and fives, and you know me, we always need the fives. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to count how much we have in our trailer money, which is $135, because actually a bunch of these fives belong in here. Um, so let's see, we have 25 30, 35, 40, 45, 50, 55. So it's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. There's my fives. Okay. And then I need eight twenties. And I've got one there. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay. So this should be my $200. 20, 40, 60, 81, 20, 40, 60, 65, 70, 75, 80, 85, 90, 95, 200. Okay, so that was the $65 that we needed to add. I lost my pen here. So we've now done this. So we've, we're up at $200. Now, sorry. So that, well, we just counted out our $200. So my husband used $150 this week or this month in February for his trailer. So that means I have $50 left of my 200 in his truck. So I actually only need to give him 150 to get that going. So because he's got the two fives and the two twenties, which puts us at $50 that we no longer need for his truck, I'm gonna set that aside. So now we have 20, 40, 60, 80, 1, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50. Okay, this is the $150 he needs to finish getting his, so he can have all of his March money to load his truck, the $50 in his truck, plus this 150 here, and I set it up like that for him, so it goes 25, 25, so he just has to grab the two. Um, and then we set this aside. So now we actually have the $50 here. Uh, so we're gonna go into our trailer money. And I kind of caught up 
So March top up was $150 because that's what he needed for March to top up his trailer. And we still have $50 remaining to start off next month. And I think that's the only tracker I've actually caught up. So I might be catching the rest of these up either as we go or later. Okay, so this trailer money is done and this trailer money is done. And that, well, start of that trailer money actually, because I'm actually going to take $30 in fives, five, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. And if I do that, and add to here, because that's six fives, there's seven, eight fives. There's all eight fives that I need to start off in April, okay? So now I only have to get six more 20s. And April will be done, and I have all of the month of March to do that. So, I don't have a red pin with me. I will catch up my trackers. All right, so my truck is, the truck's now done. So it tells me we had $80 in there. That's just kind of how this works. Um, how much I'm adding and then how much total is in there. So that would be $80. Okay, the next we're actually going to add to our savings binder, which makes me really, really happy, the savings envelope, because I haven't been able to do that. Oops, that's in my, black, uh, my pink binder. Sorry, not that one. That's what the P stands for, is pink. Okay, so savings, we're actually going to add to this, because it's empty, there's nothing in there. We're actually going to put $50 in there. 20, 40, 50, to start catching that up. All right because I've done all my February pay, so I know how much I'm supposed to have in here, but I don't have that. But I can put deposit, because that's what I'm doing. We're gonna add $50, which means we're gonna be short $1,009, which is better than the 59. So I'm okay with that, not mad, it works. And then I will catch up my uh, note card here for how much I need to add every month to make sure that we get up to where we need to be in it. Okay, so that one's done. My pink pin back in here because I'm extra like that. So that was savings is now done. So we did that 50. All right, the lavender one is Kit and Rebecca, my two kids. They're not getting a lot, but every little bit helps. They each already have $2 in there, and I'm going to add a 5 to it, making it to where they have $7 in there. It, again, it's not a whole lot, but every little bit helps. Here's Kit's $2, add a 5, now there's 7 and I will catch these trackers up. So again, I already figured out how much they're down, which if you look is exactly or very close to half of the other one, which is $1,000. It was 1,059. This is pretty close to half of that. So 222 deposit. $5. So we did $2 there. We got $5 here, which brings us down to $5.50. Again, every little bit helps. This one's Kits. So if you're curious, my son's name is Christopher, um, and we actually all call him Kit, uh, just because there's 5 million Chris's, but there's really only a few Kits. Um, I read it in a book a million years ago that guy's name was Lord Christopher something or other. You know, he had 15 names. And then he says, everybody, call, but everybody calls me Kit. And that just stuck with me. So when I brought it up to my husband, he said, yeah, I actually really like that. 
So that's how he ended up with the nickname Kit. All right, so Kit and Rebecca are done. And that leaves us with our 100 envelope challenge. So even without cheating this week, I ended up pulling out a 65 and a 79. So the 60, sorry, uh, let's see. So 65, we're gonna do this in 10s. 20, 40, 60, 60. no, sorry, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, five. And I think I might've gotten a five stuck somewhere. So 65. And I will figure out where that goes. I will go back when I edit it and I'll figure it out. Oh, it goes in our anniversary one. We didn't do that one yet. Okay. And then we pop open our 100 envelope savings challenge here. And this puts us 65, which is this one. I am not coloring it well today, but that's okay. Doesn't matter as long as it's colored in. Next one is 79. Sorry, I keep getting phone calls and it's not hugely important. So I just uh, send it and to voicemail and finish my filming and then I'll call that person back. All right, so 79, 20, 40, 60, 80. I said I was gonna put 80 in that one. So now I've got both of my 100 envelope challenges done. We're done with that. Now the last thing is anniversary. This is a new one that I decided, you know, I really want to do. My husband and I don't do anything for birthdays. We don't do anything for our Valentine's Day. We just, we just don't. Um, both of our jobs have always been, it doesn't matter whatever day it is, you just go. So we decided that we were going to start a new envelope for us. Uh, and that's going to be, I have to make it still, but it's going to be anniversary. And my goal is every single paycheck to have $10 for that, so, and for the whole year. And since our anniversary's in January, after our anniversary date, we actually got paid, so there's 10 for that. And then the first paycheck in February, there's the other 10, but I can only put five in for this one, but it's only $5 short of the $30 goal, so we're doing good. So this is, I'm actually just gonna put in here at the back, because actually, yeah, uh, I'll put it at the back because that's actually probably where that one's going to live. And then we'll have it for next time. Um, and then the last thing I have is from our 100 envelope challenge. It's the end of the month because I'm gonna count next week's poll as March. So, and I did, it's not uh, 5,000 here alcohol wipes. That's why we love lamination. Um, I had to dust my husband's desk because it was disgusting. So at the end of the year, we should have $5,050. And this is what we're actually going to have. So let's get my calculator. And we're gonna add up our numbers here. Three, six, nine, 12, 20, 22, 24, 37, 38, 45, 56, 57, 65, 72, 79, and 88. So as of right now, we should have a total of $633 into our 100 envelope challenge. 
but in January we had 315, so we're going to minus 315 from that, which means in February we put in $318, which is a little better than January. So I'm, again, that's 600, over $600, and it's only the second month. Uh, we still have some big numbers to go, but we can, we can make it work. Um, that is all I have for you today, or at least for right now. Um, I do have a couple of orders that I need to pack, so I'll do a couple of uh, pack orders with me, finish and pack orders with me, and I'll get those posted for you guys. Um, and this is all, like I said, this is all I have for today. Um, you know, accountability check-in. It is Wednesday, so this is my first one for this week. But like I said, I have a couple of orders that will be put in uh, that I have to get out tomorrow. They'll actually go out in the mail tomorrow afternoon. So that way we can, I'll uh, film those so you guys can pack a couple of orders with me. And I will have uh, a run through on how to make the cash envelopes that I'm making. Um, I'm going to cheat and do it the way I do it because I have already in my possession without having to buy extra tools to make it easier. So I will run through that with you guys. Um, and then eventually I will get one kind of just a basic one. Uh, but that's everything. I'll talk to you guys later. I'll see you around. Bye.